Hi, I'm Chris B, and welcome to the National Field Archery Association's Learning Series. Today, we're going to be talking about the field round. A full NFAA round is comprised of two 14 target units. Each 14 target unit has the same shots, but not necessarily in the same order. At each target station, each shooting division will have its own shooting state. The Cub Division will shoot at the black markers with a maximum distance of 30 yards. Youth Divisions will shoot at the blue markers with a maximum of 50 yards. Young Adult will shoot from the white markers that has a maximum of 80 yards. And also, the Adult Division will shoot from the white markers. Archers will shoot in total of four arrows at each target station. When shooting at a stake with multiple targets, the first two shooters will shoot the bottom target faces one choosing the left and one choosing the right. The next two shooters will shoot the top ones. When shooting at a stake with the fan positions, the same applies, except each archer will shoot one arrow at each stake, but will only shoot two arrows at each target face. Any arrow striking the wrong target shall be considered a miss. At a stake indicating a walk-up, archers will start at the farthest stake of the four, shooting one arrow, and then progressing towards a target, shooting one arrow at each stake. The closest targets of the day, and the easiest, will be at 35, 30, 25, and 20 feet at a 20 centimeter target. This will be shot similar to the walk-up, but each arrow will have its own individual target. Shooting order must be done vertically and in order from top to bottom or bottom to top. Now we get to see how well you shot and write some numbers down on paper. For scoring, the center spot, the arrow will score a 5. For the two white rings, the arrow will score a 4, and the outside black rings will score a 3. If you miss, yeah, well it's a 0. In all NFAA rounds, the arrow only needs to touch the line to be counted as the higher scoring value. And the X ring is used for tiebreakers, and still holds a value of a 5. So make sure you shoot as many of those as you possibly can. After the group shoots 14 targets, the shooting order changes. The archers who had been shooting from the right will now shoot from the left, and those who had been shooting from the left will now shoot from the right side. If you shot bottom targets, you will switch to the top, and if you shot from the top, you will now switch to the bottom. Whew. Arrows that pass through the face, but are still in the target butt, can be pushed back and scored. Off the ground skids or glances that land in the target will not be counted, even if, somehow, they landed in the middle. Arrow striking objects, such as branches, above the shooting lane can be re-shot. If you experience an equipment failure while shooting, the archer has 45 minutes to fix their equipment. You are only allowed one equipment failure repair per tournament day. So make sure your equipment is top notch before you head out to the range. The field round gives the archer its true potential to show its talents because you're dealing with wind, distance, and elevation. Some may say the field round is the most prestigious round in all of archery. 